Ah, shit! This looks even more brighter in this version! Ah! Ah, I'm blind! <laughs> oh god, sorry about that. I actually didn't expect this to be this bright. See, I'm gonna say one thing, it's too much pink. No, no, that's not the only thing, we're using the dazzle, it shouldn't be this bright! <laughs> oh well, let's go. Oh god, Jesus Christ, that ass. Where are we going? It's addicting as shit. Yes, it's addicting and by a surprise. Whoa, look at this place. Look, more like smell. What is all this stuff with getting set of flowers in here? By the way, you probably should lower the volume when I scream like fucking bad, by the way, when you did the video. Sure. Do, 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 okay. Do, do, do. Oh, I sorry. Yeah, this music is a thing actually. And again, girls like that kind. What's what? the name of What's the name of this soundtrack actually? It's just the name of the restaurant. That's all. Oh, then okay. again, girls like that like that kind of thing, right? Actually, I'm not at all into it. Oops. No one's coming to sit at us. Maybe there's no one here. Don't be silly, Maya. This is a restaurant, and it's open for business. Hello, anyone here? I don't believe it. There really isn't anyone here. Perfect. Let's get intrusive. <laughs> Sounds like Maya. That's our Maya. If there's no one here, we can take anything we want. Yeah, I suppose we can. Let's examine that newspaper. That is the magazine that's behind there. Sure, let's do that. It's a wreck of full fashion of magazines. They're all in France. Oh, nice. Why don't you try wearing something a bit more chic sometime, huh, Maya? Huh. Yeah, I guess I could. I'm always in uh, a college quilt, uh, aren't I? Yeah, you are. It'd be fun to wear a number of quilts every time now and then. Well, seeing how every character in this game uses exactly the same quilts every day, I don't think you're any different. <laughs> actually, that makes quite sense. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Maya is quite normal, actually. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, there's something stuffing behind the rack. Huh. Uh, looks like a sports paper to me. Hey, look at this! Someone scribbled a little doodle on one of the pages. Let's see. MC Bomber. And one of the two, three, four, five zeros. A, a hundred thousand dollars, maybe? I wonder what MC Bomber is supposed to be. This paper is from December 3rd. This paper's from the day of the poisoning! What?! Well... That was amazing! <laughs> uh -huh. Paper from the day of the murder. Gotta be a clue! Okay. I should see if I can find out some more about this paper. Okay, as we know, uh... From Maggie, that she saw a CD with MC something. And that is the evidence we need to show her. So let's go back to the detention center, shall we? Let's present the... Sports paper. Indeed. Nice. Oh, it's a sports paper! Let's see, let's see... Did Gustin Braun manage to defend the heavyweight title? Sorry, Maggie. That paper is actually a month old. It's from the day of the murder. And Gustin got knocked out yesterday, I'm afraid. Oh, no. I found this paper in the magazine rack at Très Bien. Really? That's strange. Très Bien doesn't get newspapers. Mr. Armstrong says he's not very fond of them. Then maybe one of the customers left it behind it. Anyway, what I want you to take a look at is this scribble here. Ah! That's it, sir! MC Bomber! That was the name that was written on the CD. Just as I thought. I guess it was an MC screwdriver after all. <laughs> Maya is disappointed. So that is a hundred thousand dollars. Must be the down payment for a recordio. Jesus Christ, that's expensive. If someone gave me a hundred thousand dollars, I didn't think for sure. Master of the Korean or the Spirit Song, or even my team. <laughs> you get the terminal sister, and you're gonna be happy about it. Um. Okay, Maya. So if the sample CD was on the victim's table, that means this newspaper might have belonged to the victim. You're right. So the victim left this behind on the, the day of the murder, huh? I think we'd better step in the investigation, Otunik. Yep, let's go back there. 
So, let's move. Hopefully not meeting any strange figures. Ah! Uh, oh, oh, that's, that's just the, the text. Why are you so scared? Oh, la, oh, God, la. Okay, now oh, you can be scared. Oh, la, la, bonjour. Welcome to La Trépia. Sorry for the screaming. <laughs> hey, Bo? What happened to Maya? She smells as stiff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. Just wait for it. Bienvenue! Welcome to my petite restaurant! And if you remember the poster in the fifth case of the first game, this was the guy in it. <laughs> exactly! Anyways. Moving on. Huh? Bienvenue? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, my petit chulip! Uh, me? Look at this face. Like a kitten rejected by its own mother. You are petit, no? Alors, it is this. An aromatic but oil melange of la Neroli and la Rousse. My personal recommendation. Do you think I need that? You need what? You need what? Oui, oui. Just add a couple of drops of this mixture to la bath water and voila! It will suit your body and your mind. It's simply fantastic. Fantastic? Really? <laughs> and for la monsieur. Ooh, me? Look at that face, like a la puppy rejected by life itself. You are petite, no? Okay, before we go any further, just want to check something there. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I said it. Oh yeah. To you, monsieur, I recommend this oil of bergamo and maybe an ink of wee wee. <laughs> Sorry, oil of la perfumante and la clarissage for a fragrance exceptionnel. So she vigorous vigorous aggressive will bring out your delicious beauty, monsieur. My beauty! She is beauty! Alors, if you be seated, I will bring you a speci special menu of the day. Actually, we're not here to eat. We're lawyers. Are we? Maybe and sure. I knew this already, monsieur. You are the Phoenix, right, no? Um, yes. You know me? Mais oui, oui, I never forget a man who plus with me, especially in court. Okay, that sounds wrong. I guess we are cross-examined by the mysterious faker. faker. It looks like everyone to do with this case knows who I am already. I wonder what sort of uh, impression faker been leaving people, don't you? Allow me to introduce myself to you again. I am Sean Armstrong. Enchanté! Now you should say his name. Yes, Sean Armstrong. Oh, my Okay. Uh, his English name, well, probably Jean is simply a French name. Armstrong may be a reference to his physique. His Japanese name is Kaoru Ondobo, which is a Japanese romanization of the Fr French form de verb, meaning, meaning rich veil. That's pretty much it. Uh, God, this works so hard on itself. Shit. Ah, why? <laughs> this image. Ah, it burns my eyes. My it's soul. Too much pain for you? <laughs> ah, Trebian. Yeah. I can't believe you just said that, by the way. What? Too much pink for you? <laughs> yes, too much pink for me. So what does Trebian mean? And you went out of character. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I, I told you I need a cup of water before we start this, but no. I know Tre, that means three, right? No, 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 no. Trebian is France. Oh, Duh. Duh. In English, you would say, very good. Very good! Oh, very good. Oui, exactement. La atmosphère est très bien. La cuisine est très bien. <laughs> so everything uh, is very uh, good, you think? Yeah, I don't think this all pink is... Uh, is um, it's very good. Is Yeah, it's not very good at atmospheric. And uh, about your cuisine... Yeah, we're gonna find out soon enough. Yeah. If the food's so good, why aren't there any customers in here? My cuisine is not for all. Some people, they do not appreciate la haute cuisine. Sure. I thought everyone liked hot cuisine. So, since I have lost Maggie, I do not have enough ants. So, you're running this place on your own now? Oui, pour la moment. No one has answered my advertisement. Oh, pour moi. Please don't eyeball me while you say that. I am the chef. I am the manager. Yeah. I'm also a trained aromatherapist. A Roman what? A practitioner of aromatherapy, the art of soothing the soothing the delicate floral aroma. I didn't understand a word you just said. <laughs> delicate? It's 
smell coming from the bottle earlier was anything, but... What, what happened? That's the common so, question. So, could you tell me what you know about the incident? Yeah, it makes me sad to remember it. Yeah, I remember it so well. Murza month has passed since it happened. Yeah, I guess it's been about a month since Maggie's sentencing. So, it was the third of last month, just after one in the afternoon. A man was in here for a coffee suddenly became ill. Because of the poison in his coffee. That is the truth as I know it. It was Maggie who took his drink to him. I was in the kitchen. I heard the sound of someone collapsing. When I came out to see what it was, he was already stuck in his chair. You was dead? Mon dieu, oui! He was dead! Maggie passed out too, also! <laughs> I can't speak! <laughs> and this man who died. Was he alone? Oui, monsieur! All alone! I know that Maggie said there was someone else, but... I see. La police, they asked me many times. Are you sure there was no one else at the table? They asked. But I am not the only one. The old man said the same thing. Old man? What old man? Ooh. Let's ask him. Um, so who is this old man that you mentioned? At the time of the murder, there was another customer in here. What? Someone else was saw it? Mais oui! As usual, he came along that day. That day. At the time of the murder, he was here. He saw it too. Hmm. But he said the same thing. That there was no one else at the victim's table. But Maggie swears there were two people. Mais mademoiselle, la lawyer. He could not prove this, no? About the lawyer. That was me, I suppose. Mais bien sûr. Wow, he's the first person who said it wasn't me. Don't kid yourself, Nick. Hmm. Now, who's the one making stuff up? Well, anyway. We need to present something here. We need to present... Maggie. Maggie, yeah. Yeah, Maggie, I remember. It is Maggie. Go for Maggie. Because we need to ask her about her. So yeah, let's talk about her. Maggie was a policewoman once, Nispa. Yes, she had to quit for... Okay, before um, I continue, I do want to check. As you might notice, we don't have the Magnet M for some reason. Yeah... Hmm... Suspicious... Anyway, yes, she had to quit for, um, reasons beyond her control. Oui, oui, she was the suspect in the murder investigation, no? Oh, you know about that? That is why I gave to her the perfume for the happiness. Happiness perfume? Hmm. We blended for from bergamot, like I have given to you before. But she's been arrested again, and found guilty this time. Curse you, person. This is true. A natural aroma of unhappiness must have been very strong. Just admit it, your perfume doesn't work. I am not surprised she was the prime suspect. After something like that took place before my very eyes. Something like what? What's this guy talking about? Does this mean Maggie did have a motive? We've gotta ask this guy for more info. Stat! Let's go talk about that. Sure. Motive. Yeah. When Maggie took the coffee over to the victim, did anything happen? We. Oui, uh, I suppose you could say so. What happened? No, it was. Uh, it was nothing. Look, Maggie says she didn't even know the guy. But she still is indicated for murder. The prosecution must have have come up with some kind of motive. We, oui, it is true. There was anything at all between Maggie and the victim. It could be relevant. Oh. So, please tell us anything you know. Mm. Two, 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 two. Cyclops. Yeah. A Cyclops? No way. What are we going to do, Nick? We'll just have to remove... What the? What's wrong? The Magatama. It's gone! Huh? I had it in my pocket, but... It, it has vanished into thin air. What? But I could see the Cyclock. Maybe that means the Magatama is nearby? Huh. I sense a Magatama nearby. Um, Mr. Armstrong, could I just confirm something with you again? 
the table where the victim was sitting. Was anyone else sitting there? That is a question you will have to ask him yourselves. Huh? Uh huh? Him? Him? The old man spends all of his time down the park. The park? Oh, a park! What park's that? Beyond the restaurant, it is called Vitamin Square. Thank you. Je vous prie, my dear. Let's go check out the Vitamin Square, so let's do that. that. Yeah, we gotta move. Uh, get out. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't looking at the screen at the time. Anyways. Oh. Okay, Vitamin Square. Oh, it makes sense, doesn't it? Ooh, pigeons. Everything makes sense. Oh, pigeons. Pigeons in the park? I didn't expect that. So this is the Vitamin Square. Yeah, I see where they get the name from now. Root scream vitamins at you. Hey, Nick. That's the guy right. That's the guy right. <laughs> That's the right... <laughs> I didn't even know what he said there anymore. Is that the old man Mr. Armstrong was talking about? That grouchy looking grandpa? He's throwing seeds out of the pigeons. Maya, he's not throwing seeds for them. He's throwing seeds at them. Oh my god, that's a big red nose. <laughs> I like the song though. Ugh, my grumpiness red level has just been raised to red. Haha, <laughs> get it? Get it? Yeah. Do, 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 so do, let's do. try to talk to him. There's nothing better to do. Uh, excuse me. Would you mind if I add a word with you? Yes! I just want to ask you a couple questions. What's the matter with you? Can't you see I'm busy? So you don't like my seeds and pigeons? He's really chucking those seeds at them. I gotta hurt. Go on, eat this. Uh, right. Poor pigeons. Poor Phoenix. Excuse me, sir. Can I ask you about Maggie Bird? He's throwing that at the pigeons, not at Phoenix yet. Well, for now. I don't know any Maggie Bird! Yes, it's you, Maggie, the waiters of 3 p.m. <laughs> it's a disgrace, I tell you! Another disgrace! A disgrace? An innocent young girl revealing herself like that! Revealing? You mean her uniform? The youth of today they don't have any shame! No shame, I tell you! Not once! Whatever happened to the old push, she devours at your family, honor, and modesty! What about me? I'm not wearing anything revealing. You? You promise you lack any sense of grace. Talk about hitting girl where it hurts. <laughs> wow. That was great. Well, this conversation is going nowhere fast. Do you go to Trebia a lot? Hmm, that miserable excuse for a restaurant. That garbage they serve in there is no food. Where's the sushi? The tempura? The rice? Maybe as a French restaurant, sir. That's Japanese. Where do you think we are, boy? In Paris? I want real food, not the snooty snacks. And what about those shameless girls? You mean the waitresses? You can see all the way up to their... their... Yes, the waitresses! They're practically naked. It's a disgrace, isn't it? Well, isn't it? Listen, it's not my restaurant. <laughs> it's a miserable excuse for the rest of that place. Miserable! He certainly knows the place. It must be a regular. He hates it so much. Why does he keep going? I don't know. That's a good question. Let's try and find out. Are you a regular at the restaurant, sir? It's just, it's, uh, you dislike it so much. Why do you keep going there? Sir? There you are, you pretty pigeon. Do you want food? Haha, <laughs> take that! Take that? Hey, hey, hey! Mister! We are the only ones who can do that! Thank you! Yes, I should be able to see a cyclone! Oh, wait... I just remembered something. I don't exactly have the magnet timer right now. Huh. Remember, Nick! That magnet timer is the only on the one! You better find it or else! If Pearl's ever gets wind of this, I'm going to be in a world of pain. Ooh, yes, indeed. But anyways, before we leave the old man here, we need to examine that... That magazine. magazine that is on that orange seat. Oh, there's a magazine here! It's a magazine full of job listing. You disgusting rogue picking up something, something someone else threw away! Threw away? Do you throw this away? Are you looking for a job? <laughs> That's none of your business! Sorry, I guess I'll just take the magazine with me then. 
I don't want anyone else having it! Give it back! Too bad. Now that you want it so bad, I don't want to give it up. Okay. That was great. <laughs> anyway. That was amazing. Let's uh, go to back to try again. Hey, that's mine! That was poison. Now it's mine! I don't know what that comes to me. Well, there may be a meeting, but we'll find out sooner. Soon. Soon. Uh, will we? Anyways, present. Present. Actually, I'll check that. Uh, not talk. <laughs> Silly RC, what are you doing? Let's jump this thing. Let's jump this thing. Yes. No, bro. Oh, yeah, jump this thing. Mademoiselle! Yes? Are you looking for a job? What? No, 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 no. I was just. Let me see. Your style is a bit different, but you have a good face. Different? Felicitations, you have passed. I will hire you. Yeah, come with me. I will teach you everything I know. Nick, help! I don't know whether to laugh or feel bad for my. Maybe I should do both. Hmm, that's kind of difficult. Anyways, let's go visit Gumshoe. That's the standard, then we gotta go. To the we gotta go all the way back. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, we need more text because we can't visit Maggie. Looks like they have Maggie in questioning. I guess I've asked her pretty much everything. I'll come back if there's anything else I need to ask her later. You know, it would be convenient if we could go place to place. Oh, finally, there it is. Yeah, they, they should have given us more options to go through stuff because it's just annoying nah. to go through. Yeah. Oh, well. Anyways. Move on. Well, pal, have you found the evidence yet? The one that's gonna find her, Anderson? 